the main project focus was to try to put Malbec into a higher level in terms of quality and mainly complexity. And in my experience and in my opinion, the only way to reach that point is not necessarily in the winery, in the cellar, but uh, is in the vineyard. And for that you need to really know and understand your terroir. Mendoza is about the Andes mountain range, so you know, everybody knows, that Andes mountain range provides alluvial soils going down from the, from, the, from the Andes. But the main problem is that uh, for many years everybody thought that uh, Mendoza was about altitude and not about soils. So talking about different alluvial terraces, talking about the difference between a gravel and a limestone gravel, talking about difference between one kind of clay and another kind of clay, talking about to work on 0.3 hectares or 2 hectares, this kind of situation was was not applying in the moment, at least not by everyone. And, um, and, and the idea was to work in terms of morphology, geology and uh, try to get this uh, complexity and creative phenomenon who formed the Andes mountain range in the soils. And now, six years later, you can see that there are really, really very different situations, very different macro terroir and very different micro terroir. You know, the, the first step you need to do always is to taste wines. You know, for example, when we, when we realized that there were many, many limestone salts blended with the gravels, it was not because we knew it, but because we taste some wines and we find the character of the limestone in the tunnels. You know, this kind of raspy shock in the tunnels that is a clear a signature of the of the terroir. So we got the, the wine brought up, we taste it, oh we should go there and see the soils because if I am not wrong should be limestone soils. And then we went, we make some pits and we find plenty of limestone. So it's it's the only way to 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 work, you know? The only way is to taste first and then go see what you were tasting. So we did that for we're, st we're still are doing that, so six years, it's a lot of time. This kind of idea of portfolios, like a triangle, going from a macro terroir to a little, little single vineyard, is what we are doing now in Altas Amigas. The Malbec Classic is mainly focused here in this vineyard located there, so it's about, uh, it's about Mendoza, it's about what Medrano is, and then uh, Luján, the Cuyo. Then there is the terroir, and the terroir is 100% uh, Valle de Uco, is 100% alluvial soils, and is 100% uh, fantastic alluvial soils, but not necessarily with limestone. Then there is the reserva, and the reserva is a blend, and it's a blend made in all the Valle de Uco, 100% alluvial, 100% gravelly, and 100% limestone. And then we got the appellation, new selection of wines and the appellation is is a is a project that we are developing now to pick up the best terroir from every little terroir in the Valle de Uco. So the idea is to develop uh, appellation Altamira, the appellation La Consulta, appellation Gualtaeri, appellation Vista Flores. That's the main idea. And then there is the, the last wine is the single vineyard. And the single vineyard would be a wine that will come always from a little, little sector in our vineyard. We are not inventing everything. This was this classical and European approach. And it's very logical because the owners are Italian. So it's, it's the only way they know. Of course, of course you should. That, that's the main idea. The main idea is to really develop very different wines. Our wines from Vista Flores is a very masculine wine, very present tannins, shalky tannins, and a wine that is more plush, deep, black fruit. And Altamira 
is a 100% shock, super calcareous, uh, very deep, very long wine, more vertical, not so lateral, and um, and more acid fruit and flowers, less black fruit. That's for the moment. We are working in our Waltairi wine, which I think will be fantastic because Waltairi is a fantastic place, higher in altitude, super fresh, beautiful city. And uh, by little by little. It's a fantastic thing because um, uh, for me it was an opportunity to work with with Attilio Pagli, which is uh, one of the most well-known winemakers in Italy, and mainly in Brunello and Chianti. And Attilio is a very reflexive person, silent person, a very talented person. There is Alberto Antonini, and Alberto is uh, is like is a very wise person. You know, and very talented winemaker, fantastic palette. And at the end is Antonio, and Antonio Moriscalchi is like uh, like the father. He's the he's the person who really gets all the team together. Very classical Italian, beautiful palette, formed mainly in Italy or France, Burgundy, and with a lot of character. Uh, we have uh, Mauricio Gonzalez. A fantastic Chilean viticulturist, quite young but very deep in terms of concept. I think because it was first a winemaker and then he switched to viticulturist. And we are working with a very good friend, Salan York, who is uh, one of the most talented viticulturists I, I ever saw in my life. Uh, also a biodynamic guru, but for me, what is really important is that. Alan York is the kind of viticulturist that see what other people don't see. And he was a gardener for 20 years, that's why he has the eye. And he's a super wise viticulturist. He is fantastic. So the team is a Ferrari team by far, here in Mendoza and I think in the world.